It's been a while, but I'm back. We have an exciting video for you today. We're gonna to be showing you how to get rid of black bearded algae, all of it, in just two days. I know it sounds ridiculous because they're the biggest pain in the you know what, but this is like the easiest thing you can do. So first, the first three things I would recommend is one, reducing your lighting in the tank. Two, uh, try to feed your fish less. You might be overfeeding them or over fertilizing your tank. So after you got those three things covered, then do this. This is going to solve all your issues in just two days. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do, if you have algae growing on your intake, so the thing that blows the water out into the aquarium, you have to fix that problem ASAP because what that is doing is just blowing the black bearded algae all over your aquarium and just spreading it all over the place. This is the first thing you're gonna wanna do. So what I did is removed my intake, removed the outtake, mm -hmm. and I soaked it in a hydrogen solution. So it was water with a bit of hydrogen peroxide. And I let that soak for two hours. Now, while that's soaking, you're gonna wanna triple dose your tank with this. So what this is, is Flourish XL. Um, and it's pretty much carbon for the tank, like CO2. Um, and this, make sure when you do dose your tank that your filter is off. Um, and you're gonna wanna let it sit there. So how I timed this was while I was soaking my intake and outtake in the solution, I then put my tank is about 20 gallons, so I think it is a cap full for 10 gallons, so you're gonna triple that dose. So whatever it says your dose is for your tank, you're gonna triple that. Um, and you're gonna let it sit for two hours with your filter off. Do not leave your filter on when you do this. Well, one, your intake and outtake should be in your sink, but you're gonna wanna turn it off, okay? That's so, all that carbon can sit in that water and just saturate all the algae. And so once that's done and your, your intake, your outtake is soaked, all of that stuff is good to go. You're probably gonna need to scrub the intake and outtake. You're gonna wanna put it back on and start up your filter again and let it run. Now, this is the waiting game. You gotta wait. And, and one, one tip, don't forget this, Make sure you keep an eye on your fish. Because so what you just did, sorry, my phone's ringing. Where was I, where was I, where did I leave off? Oh yes, keep an eye on your fish when you do this. Because what you're doing is you're dosing your tank with carbon, which removes oxygen from the water. So if you notice your fish's behavior is a little strange, they're hanging up at the top of the aquarium, it's because they need some oxygen, the oxygen might be low in the tank. So what I did is I literally just lifted up my intake and I let it do this, which puts oxygen in the water um, or put a bubbler in there for the meantime. Um, but whatever you do, your fish might need some oxygen. Just keep an eye on your fish. Um, this might not be the perfect solution if you have hardier fish. This, um, I meant, sorry. I said that wrong. This might not be the solution for you if you don't have hardy fish. Um, but in my case, I do. It's in a planted aquarium. It's all good. So anyways, once you're fish, you make sure your fish is all good and you got their problem solved. The next day, your tank should look something like this. You're gonna notice your algae's turning a little bit, of, a little pinkish. It might look a little pretty. So that's on day one. It'll, after 24 hours, you'll notice your algae is turning a little pink, which is a good thing. That means it's dying. That's exactly what you want. Um, and then you just let it sit. Another day goes by, you're gonna notice it gets more pink. And, and that's literally all you gotta do. And I'll show you my process, how I did it, like my before and after. This log right here with all these nice pretty plants, that was covered in algae and it's gone. It's crystal clear. My rocks are completely cleared of algae. There's none there. Now, to make this as, as effortless as possible, I would just recommend, 
leaving everything in there. What I did is I removed a lot of decor that had algae on it, but if I just left it in, it would have killed the algae off the decor. Now for the intake, I still think, intake and outtake, I still think it's a good idea to do it. Plus you soak it for two hours, you let this tank sit without a filter. I mean, it, it's not too much, it's not too much work. So I would just recommend dosing the tank and seeing what happens. Honestly, it's the easiest thing. It looks amazing. The, like, the gravel is completely clear. There's no algae on any of the logs, on the rocks. It's like perfect. And it was just all it took was triple dosing your tank with this. So I highly recommend it. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope this helps somebody. Um, I'm gonna end it here. Hope everybody's doing well. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Let us know what you think. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.